Hello and welcome to the channel. Prejo is finally building on the chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Senator Iyochi Ohayu, embroiled in one controversy or the other since the PDP presidential primaries held last year. Yesterday, Ohayu was suspended by his ward in Benue State for a vote of no confidence. Plus, there has been calls by his party for the senator to gracefully or ungracefully bow out. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Post poll crisis. Are you under pressure to quit as PDP chair? The People's Democratic Party PDP National Chairman Dr. Iyochio Ayu is under pressure to quit following the protracted crisis that has hit the platform. Yesterday, he was suspended by the executive committee of his native Igiro ward in Boko local government area of Benue State after a vote of no confidence was passed on him. Also, the PDP Deputy National Chairman Ambassador Taufi Karapaja said how you should resign to pave the way for the rebuilding of the party ahead of the 2027 elections. River State Governor Yen Sumwike spoke in a similar vein like that of the Deputy National Chairman. A resolution passed at the end of the Igiro Ward meeting and read by its secretary, Mr. Banga Duyom, accused Ayu of causing PDP to lose the recent general election at the state, local government, and ward levels in Benue State. The resolution reads in part, E. Ayu was involved in anti-party activities, making the PDP lose its ward and local government along with his allies who also didn't vote at the governorship election. The ward ESCO also accused him of failing to pay his annual dues as demanded by the PDP constitution. RU suspension is coming barely 72 hours after the PDP national leadership announced the suspension of two of its ex-governors, RU of IOSA, Ekiti, and Ibrahim Shima Katsina for alleged anti-party activities. Also suspended was a former secretary to the government of the federation, Chief Pius Anyim. Professor Dennis Itiavia from Benue State and Dr. Aslam Aliyu from Zamfara State were similarly suspended by the Hayu led National Working Committee, NWC. Arapaja, in an interview with The Nation, said the embattled national chairman should quit because he has not only failed to lead the party to victory in the presidential election, he also lost his polling unit, ward, local government, and state to another party. The PDP shifting said party politics and management are not an academic exercise in which academics are regarded as experts. He explained that under Dr. Hayu's leadership, governors who have a large following and great influence left the party without Hayu showing any concern. Arapaja insisted that Hayu should honorably tender his resignation to pave the way for the rebuilding of the party. He said, before the election, we told them that there must be justice and equity. We said the national chairman should be a southerner for the purpose of inclusiveness, having produced a presidential candidate of northern origin, but they refused. When it was time to choose the vice presidential candidate, I was a member of the committee. We all agreed on Yen Sam Wike, but they moved on without Wike and the entire G5 governors. We had nothing to campaign within the south. Another party zoned its presidency to the south. You can see the results now. It is time for us to go back to the drawing board and build a party in which there is justice and equity. Arapa Jahaded, any political party must be able to deliver. If you are a leader and you are unable to deliver, you need to step down. Ayu could not deliver his polling unit, his ward, local government and state, let alone the presidency. He is not a politician and cannot continue to serve as the national chairman of our party. He should step down. PDP is not a university. It is a political party. If he is a man of integrity, he does not need to be told to throw in the towel. The party needs to be completely rebuilt. The governors who came together under the umbrella of integrity group, Yensom Wike, Rivers, Sheyi Markinde, Oyo, Infanyi Uguanyi, Enugu, Ikbiazu Okezie, Abia and Samuel Olton Benway have distanced themselves from the activities of the high you led NWC. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you.
efforts by our correspondents to get a reaction from the PDP share, we are not successful. RU's immediate predecessor, Prince Uche Secundus, was in 2021 removed in similar circumstances. The allegation against Secundus by his ward S. Co. in River State was that he failed to pay his annual membership dues for an accumulated period of 10 years. Secundus, who was suspended a few weeks to the end of his tenure, did not regain a seat until his tenure expired. RU was eventually elected chairman, following which he resumed duties on December 9. 2021. In suspending Haryu, a statement signed by 12 out of the 17 member ward executive, the secretary stated that the decision to suspend the national chairman was reached after the leadership reviewed his conduct at the end of the just concluded general elections. Flanked by the chairman and other members, the secretary said, We observed with utmost dismay that Dr. Iyotia Haryu who is the national chairman of the PDP, worked against the success of the party in Igiorov, in Igiorov Council Ward. It is on record that he has also failed to pay his annual subscription fees as provided under Section 8, 9 of the Constitution of the PDP 2017, as amended. Further investigation also revealed that it did not vote during the governorship and state assembly elections held on March 18, 2023. It was also discovered that most of his closest allies worked for the opposition party, the Hall Progressives Congress APC, and hence the abysmal performance of the PDP in Igiro Ward. In view of the foregoing, we hereby pass a vote of no confidence on Dr. Iyochi Aryu and suspend him as a member of our party with immediate effect. The suspension takes effect from March 24, 2023. Meanwhile, Fresh crisis in the opposition People's Democratic Party took a new twist on Sunday as the Benue State Chapter at the party's ward executive suspended the party's national chairman, Senator Yochio Hayu. Hayu's suspension came barely a few days after the party's national working committee referred the state governor, Samuel Otom, to the party's disciplinary committee for probe over alleged anti-party activities. The leadership of the PDP, meanwhile, at the state level, told the punch that it received a decision by the ward with surprise. The state publicity secretary, Bemba Otyom, told our correspondent that the state leadership may meet on Monday, today, over the matter. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.